this is Mary over here at Images on a Page, and today I'm coming back. I'm coming to you with another review, actually. I know I haven't done them in a while, but these are two books I kind of really wanted to talk about. And I do have some other videos in the works, but they are take a lot more planning than these do. So the book I plan to review today is actually called Corpies by Drew Hayes. It is kind of a spin-off of um, his Super Powered series. And I have kind of talked about Drew Hayes before because I also have read his Fred the Vampire Count series, which is really funny. Definitely recommend it. Um, but the reason I really want to talk about this is because the main character is actually queer. Now let me give you a quick synopsis. So the story follows Owen Dan <coughs> The story follows Owen Daniels, also known as Titan, um, as he decides to re-enter the world as a superhero. So for the last 10 years, um, due to a scandal, he has kind of left the superhero world and he has now decided to come back. And it is just kind of about him facing the scandal and everything it entails to come back and be a superhero again. So what is really interesting about this book is it's a really fun, interesting take on a world with superheroes. So to become a superhero, a person with superpowers actually has to go through basically a certification course to become a superhero, to become a licensed superhero. It is a requirement and um, it has like PR that goes along with it and all that. And what is more interesting is they're not just superheroes. There are people who are also called corpies. So they are people who have control of their power, but they work, they either haven't gone through the sup uh, superhero training or haven't been able to complete it because it is pretty rigorous and you have to have a certain like amount of ability to do it like not a specific strength but a certain amount of ability um and so they work with corporations to do kind of rescue work and they are called corpies or peers um corpies the more derogatory term and then there's something also called powers now powers are people who have um super abilities but do not actually have control of their powers and what i find really interesting about this is he does not just create this world with superheroes in it but like where superheroes are a well-known entity like there's pr for superheroes their cities have like cleanup crews but of course when there's this hierarchy of people or people with differences so there's superheroes corpies and then powers there's of course those prejudices that go along with it and i just thought that was really interesting to see drew hayes's take on that because it was just and of course owen the main character is a superhero he has gotten his superhero license and he is actually stuck working with a group of corpies um, because they're the only ones who will take him and so it's about him part of it is about him getting over his prejudices and along with that trying to change how things are kind of done um but I just, I don't know, for some reason, this structure of the world in which superheroes are well known, like their I real identities aren't, but like the fact that just superheroes are a thing that happens in cities. Cities put them in budgets um, for catastrophes if things happen, they have cleanup crews, stuff like that. It, it's just so fascinating and so interesting. And I just love learning more about this world. I actually started the actual series that this is a spinoff of and... Oh, it was also really nice to see a story in which there was a queer character and the queer character's queerness was not the entirety of the book. Now, I do think coming out stories are incredibly needed and wonderful and helpful and so awesome. But those are not really the kind of stories I like to read. I like fantasy and action adventure and mysteries and I really like it when... All these other things hap are happening and like life is happening and the character just happens to be queer. It's a part of their identity. They have blue eyes, long brown hair, and they're queer. Like I don't need it to be the sole focus of the book and that was one thing I was really happy about because while it is kind of a part of the book, it is secondary to him being kind of a superhero and what he has to go to be kind of re to come back into the superhero realm 
And so I just really enjoyed this book. I absolutely loved it. I don't actually have many negatives to say. Um, I do have to say that from so I, I do like flawed characters and these characters all seem really human to me, but they also feel very, they're all dislikable in a likable way. Like some of them are even, I don't know. I like morally gray characters and all of these guys were kind of, I mean, they're superheroes. They're, hi Wally. Say hi to people. He's bugging me. So like they intend good and you can definitely see that these, these are all very good people and I don't know, it got, I don't want to say boring because it wasn't on any way boring but it's just because these are all inherently good people even if they don't always make the best decisions or they don't always make, say the best things. Like they are, they do intend good, they're not the villains or anything like that. So I don't know, I also really loved the narrator for this book. He does a fabulous job. I have listened to three different Drew Hayes books and he always has really wonderful narrators. So if you want to listen to it, but I would highly recommend Four Piece. I'd highly recommend any of Drew Hayes' books because he has this ability, especially in this series. I haven't checked, I haven't been able to figure out in the superhero, super powered series yet, just because I'm not that far into it. But especially in this book, Corpies, He's able to bring up and mention some pretty heavy topics without making you feel burdened by the topic. Like it is brought to your awareness and you're really well, well aware of it, like the prejudices that superpowers and or powers and corpies face, as well as what it means to be a queer superhero. And but he still managed to keep this kind of lighter tone. Um which I don't always need, but it was just, it was a really good fit for the book. Please, if you had read this, please let me know. I love to talk to other people about books, hence why I have a booktube channel. And if you just want to stop in and say hi or leave a little emoji, cat emoji, because I love kitties, I would greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, ta-ta for now!